Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor. The latest book on the Trump White House paints an ugly picture of the current presidency. Bob Woodward, whose reporting helped bring down President Richard Nixon, says Chief of Staff John Kelly said we're in crazy town. Woodward says top aides were said to steal papers off the president's desk so he couldn't end trade deals. Mr. Trump quickly responded, telling the Daily Caller, quote, it's just another bad book. He's had a lot of credibility problems. David Martin spoke to Woodward and begins our coverage tonight. White House Chief of Staff John Kelly said of President Trump, he's an idiot. It's pointless to try to convince him of anything. He's gone off the rails. We're in crazy town. Defense Secretary James Mattis told close associates his commander-in-chief acted like and had the understanding of a fifth or sixth grader. Late today, Kelly and Mattis denied the comments, but the book is filled with derogatory descriptions of the president by senior advisors. Woodward's devastating account is called Fear, Trump in the White House. It hasn't been published yet, but the White House says it's nothing more than fabricated stories told to make the president look bad. Woodward tried, but was not granted an interview with the president. In a brief phone conversation last month, Woodward warned him what was coming. It's a tough look at the world and your administration and you. Right. Well, I assume that means it's going to be a negative book. In Woodward's telling, the president's aides fear not what he might do to them, but what he might do to the country. His then chief economic advisor, Gary Cohn, and White House Staff Secretary Rob Porter stole this document withdrawing from a free trade agreement with South Korea off the president's Oval Office desk so he could not sign it. Porter spent about a third of his effort keeping the president from acting on impulses such as his belief the U.S. is being taken to the cleaners. Our trade deal is so bad for the United States and so good for South Korea, said we'll focus on the military. Seven months into the administration at a meeting in the Pentagon, Defense Secretary Mattis tried to convince the president of the value of military alliances and free trade agreements. But the president declared, this is all BS. Then, according to a summary written by a White House official, proceeded to lecture and insult the entire group about how they didn't know anything when it came to defense or national security. The president emerged from the meeting seeming in fine spirits. The meeting was great. It was a very good meeting. But the summary went on to say many of the president's senior advisors are extremely concerned with his erratic nature, his relative ignorance, his inability to learn, as well as what they consider his dangerous views. And, according to Woodward, one of the president's attorneys, John Dowd, felt he would commit perjury if interviewed by special counsel Robert Mueller. Dowd, who has since resigned, believed the president had nothing to hide but was incapable of giving simple, factual answers. Don't testify, Dowd warned. It's either that or an orange jumpsuit. The book ends with this sentence. Trump had one overriding problem that Dowd knew but could not bring himself to say to the president. Quote, you're an effing liar. Dowd has issued a statement denying he ever called the president a liar. But I can tell you from having interviewed Woodward, he is very confident of his information, much of which comes from diaries and notes made by participants in the events. Jeff? All right, David Martin, thank you very much. You can see David's interview with Bob Woodward this week on CBS Sunday Morning. And we should also mention Woodward's book is published by Simon & Schuster. That is a division of CBS.